Hey guys, welcome to Brick Hub. This is my custom modified UCS Slave 1 set 75060. This has been modified to reflect the appearance of the Slave 1 under Jango Fett's ownership in Star Wars Episode 2. So as you can see, one of the first major differences is that the cockpit holds more passengers. The original UCS Slave 1 only held one pilot, but this version holds one pilot, two co-pilots, and two passengers below. So here is a better look at the top portion of the cockpit for the pilot and the two co-pilots with the Dengar minifigure removed. As you can see, the Dengar minifigure was only held in by two studs on the back portion of his legs. That is so the minifigure can be removed easily and added easily. In addition, you can also see that I have added the red radar that Jango Fett uses to track Obi-Wan in their starfight in Episode 2. Same situation down below. The minifigures are only held on by the back two studs of their legs. I have removed both Greedo and Bosk so you can get a better look at what it looks like. I have changed the design of the twin cannons down below. They are pretty similar to the original but I made them all black and I made the bottom cannons on each side a little bit longer. That's just more of a personal spin to it. That's not really canonical. Technically they are supposed to both be the same length. I just thought it might make him look a little bit more interesting. Here's a better look at the ship in its landed position. So the backside of the Slave 1 has remained largely unchanged. As you can see, I have changed the engine detail just a little bit to reflect the orange color as opposed to the light blue that the original model had. In addition, there is a seismic charge dropper. The seismic charge dropper is pretty well hidden within the Griebling. It's these two panels up here and this droid arm. If you just open these flaps, and then you move this droid arm down, you can pull out a seismic charge. The design of the seismic charge is fairly simple, but that groove in the middle helps it fit into the cradle exactly. The cradle for the seismic charge dropper is composed of three droid arms and one pin in the middle, or one bar element, that is three length, so that it can just fold in just like that. And because of the one droid arm in the middle, you can just fit in the seismic charge like so, and fold it in perfectly, closing down the flaps and fitting it and disguising it away. Finally, I made some structural upgrades on the side panels. As you can see, this panel does not shake like it does in the original Slave 1 model. That's because I used some ball joints on the interior so that it cannot move. So here are a few still shots of the Slave 1 so you guys can get a better look at some of the other angles of the ship. In addition, if you like work like this, I have more custom work on the way. In fact, I've already just made a brick link order for another starship from Star Wars. Try to guess what it is in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked this video, please give it a like. Please comment below. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like. And please subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Bye.